A local high school principal on administrative leave tonight. This after he bought ammunition in the school parking lot. The Cohoes Board of Education met tonight to discuss Principal Joe Rajak's future. Our Craig Smith is live outside the high school right now. And Craig, I know both critics and supporters had a lot to say tonight. Yeah, they really did, Greg. Uh, this uh, school board meeting tonight was an interesting one to listen to. It was at the middle school, and all of the comments there tonight had to do with what happened one day here at the high school. As the superintendent put it, an alleged sale of ammunition, a private sale, perfectly legal. But there were some people who have a question about whether the principal violated the school's code of conduct and whether he should pay. Joe Johnson is a Cohoes High School graduate who thinks Principal Joe Raychak should be subject to the same rules and penalties set for the kids. Uh, some of the things that I thought weren't big when I was a kid and I got suspended for certainly uh, would have been, you know, less less of a, a level than what this is. So Johnson is among those asking why the board hasn't already acted on something school officials have known about for weeks. It just seems like it's being dragged on. Like it just it's, it's an ongoing, you know, like this is a cut and dry. We don't know our own code of conduct as a board, as a as a school district. We don't know what the rules are here. Most who spoke had praise for the principal, if not for his consumer choices. Did he probably make a mistake? Yes, but should he lose his job over it? Probably not. He's a great guy. And his son-in-law works in the district and wanted to know if there's a policy on people taking personal photos of security pictures. The board had no answer. One teacher questioned whether the school's code of conduct applies to anyone 21 and older. School board president Mark Pascal. You know, she's a teacher, and that means she's, she's probably smart. And I, I don't recall seeing that exactly, but I, I bet it's true, and we're, we're going to check on that. Pascal told me the superintendent, Robert Libby, told the school board about this a week ago yesterday. Now, on its website, the school district essentially states the school principal violated the code of conduct. The very first sentence of the code of conduct says it's supposed to govern teachers and other school personnel. But there's also a section about violent students. There are several definitions in there. And one of the things that defines a violent student at this school is a student under 21 who brings ammunition to the school. There's nothing in there about adults having ammunition at school. So it'll be interesting to find out, if we ever do, exactly how the school principal here violated the code of conduct. Pascal told me whatever solution they're going to come up with will probably be reached in a matter of days. Live in Cohoes, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.